Marge Gretch. Here I am. Your independent, independent sensei, sensei consultants coming, coming to you live from the office. office. We didn't even practice that. No. Just, <laughs> we had the rhythm. <laughs> the rhythm and the blues. No blues. My chair is short. Here I am. There she goes. Look at you. Got one of those fancy chairs that goes up and down. I have my patriotic earrings on today. She does. And I have my shirt that has you know, the I almost, San Francisco Giants. I almost wore my red and white checkered shirt. Uh-huh. How come I didn't? Because I always wear it on Wednesday because it's safety day at work. Oh. And red is safety. And I should have just done it. I was going to say something to you. I could have wore Monday and Wednesday. I have yeah, two. for sure. <laughs> Darn it. Yeah, for sure. For sure, no problem. All right, before oh. we get started... Do you want to say something or do you want me to read first? Go ahead and read first. Okay. A reading from the good book of You Are Badass. Badass. Sorry that my book is falling apart over here with all my bookmarks. <laughs> it's of all sizes, shapes, and colors. <laughs> it's not that the things and opportunities that we want in life don't exist yet. It's that we are not yet aware of their existence or the fact that that we can really have them. That's pretty powerful. Think about that. You can have Think on that. what you want if you pursue and you work hard for it's it. It's not just going to happen. There is no magic pill to anything that we want. No. I want to be super skinny and super perfect and what does perfect <laughs> even look like well like this right here See, you've already done it oh my god yeah no not so much i want to have awesome back muscles and be really strong and taller but here i am i don't know why you would want to be taller for 11 and a half and she is like a I, champ. I would like to be like five two max oh. Are you really just 4'11 and a half? Yeah. Okay, well, really quick before we get too far into this. Sparkling ice. Sparkling ice. No vodka added. Not this time. She wouldn't <laughs> let me. We haven't done that with these. But Yet. One day on the lake. It's going to be bottoms <laughs> up. Cheers. Cheers. So, today is Memorial Day. Like, 2021. Yes. Just because we will be on here for many Ever. years to come. We just want to say thank you to all that have served and all of you that have made Memorial Day Memorial Day. Those that are no longer with us. Those that are old and have seen a lot. Those that are new in the career of military. military. Life. Keep on going. You are appreciated and we love you. For those that gave the ultimate sacrifice. Yes. We would not be here To you today. and your family. Because it yeah. ain't just that one person. Nope. And I think about that. That's what I think about the family that that sacrificed their loved one for us. Yep. So. So thank you. Yeah. So why are we here? Oh, okay. So we got a request <laughs> on one of the other videos to do a list of our favorite products. So we made a list. We each made a separate list. So this there's going to be different favorites of almost every category and then we put the product underneath whether it be fragrance or yeah like a favorite warmer so we we did that and then we so, also did is, what are our favorite products and here comes mr come here. pants come here. What he got that? brushed tonight and he was just having a heyday of it get him in the shot. come here Come here, fine sir. There's a guy. Let's see if we can move this down a little bit. There he hi, is. Pumpkin. Look at the people. You say hi. Can you say hello to everybody? Everybody loves Otis he's and like, your little tiny teeth, huh? He's like, he's so he has here. the littlest teeth. It is so funny. He's got the littlest tiny teeth on the bottom. He's my guy. He is the best. Hi. Get back in you want to sit right here? You want to sit up on my lap? I would love for you to sit in my lap. Yes, sir. Oh, he has the hiccups now. He's nervous. He's nervous. He's shy. He, he's <laughs> camera, camera shy. <laughs> he wasn't part of the plan for tonight, but no. he came he dragging his he's slippers in here. Very needy sometimes. We call him Mr. Slippers because he, slippers. when he walks, it sounds like somebody that's wearing their slippers and dragging their feet. Yes. That's him. Hi. 
we'd really like for you just to kind of have a seat with us and share what you love about Sensi. He's yes, like, I sir. love that it helps buy my bully sticks and my <laughs> cookies. Yes, I said the magic word. All right. Okay. So with Otis in the front so, of the room, he's. we did our dream six-pack. You want to go first? Sure. So if we were to order a six-pack right now, this is what would be these in the order. are the six bars that she would order and that I would order. So mine has a six pack plus two. <laughs> oh, cheater. So she had a party. She got some to half off. I got Hopefully. something. So it's what's your dream eight pack? <laughs> funny story, Magnolia Linen this season has been my absolute favorite fragrance in the bar. And what's funny about that is one of my friends sent me a message this morning. She's my customer. And she said, I hate trying new things. I warmed, I cleaned out all my warmers last night and my husband wanted to know if we were having a gas leak. <laughs> and I go, what fragrance were you melting? She said, Magnolia Linen. <laughs> it Wait, definitely does what? not smell like natural gas to us. <laughs> she said, yeah, it stunk in my house. I'm like, oh my gosh. So again, Magnolia Linen is one of my favorites. I think that that just kind of goes to show how we all have different palettes. palettes and how we think certain things smell really nice and other things don't. And because we are all human and we're all different, we all see things different and smell things different. So Magnolia Linen is one. Lavender Violet oh, that's good from the Garden set is another. Havana Cabana is a favorite of mine because it was one of the first fragrances that I ever used. Let me turn the fan off. I think it's blowing your hair. No, I. Okay. It could have been just the way I was okay. moving myself. He's a pistol. Now he's banging at the door to get out. Let's see. Vanilla Waves. Vanilla Waves is one of my favorites because of the vanilla fragrance but also because of the long lasting fragrance. We shared with you in a recent video how that one just, it's the wax that keeps on giving. So again, Vanilla Waves is just, from my perspective, a fantastic fragrance. And if you like, you have to like vanilla. If you don't like vanilla, you're not gonna like it. Another one which is right in line is Vanilla Bean Buttercream. I have loved vanilla bean buttercream as long as I've been a Scentsy consultant. So again, that's another big favorite of mine. Excuse me. A new favorite is vanilla bourbon. We melted it. It is just as good warmed as it is cold. Vanilla bourbon is the Father's Day part of the Father's Day collection, and it just has a really nice. I almost want to say it's kind of a wintry fragrance mm -hmm. and it's just it's fantastic I really like it and it's long-lasting it's not one of those powerhouse and then it dies out it's it's a nice fragrance and then last but not least on my list of my six-pack is lavender cotton I love the lavender fragrances I love they do a that really good job calming them. effect that they have I love the cleanliness of it. I think that lavender cotton is just one of those fragrances that that Cincy came out with, and it's just fantastic. So, and the wax is pretty, and clean. it is pretty. like it looks mm -hmm. clean. Yeah. So the two added bonus ones for me are Bonfire Beach and By the Sea, and I I wrote those two down because those I can remember first being a consultant and having those fragrances and the, the punch that they brought, my house would just smell so strong and clean and I love it. So I added those two as my as you should. As my two bonus favorites. I didn't so. do that. <laughs> I can make two up though. We it's kind of funny because when we decide that it's time to do a video, there's not a lot of okay, we have to do this, we have to do that. It's more of, you're gonna get, you're gonna get us. This is the raw. authentic, raw version of us. So, yes, there you have it. 
That's her dream eight pack. <laughs> no. She's an overachiever. I only did six. You don't have to be salty. So these are... There's probably never... a salty wax in there. <laughs> Not this time. Okay, that's a surprise. So, these are going to be my summer go-tos. Right. Because in the fall, we're going to have to do it all over again because those are completely different. Yep. So, at the top of my list would be watermelon tangerine because it is all things summer and hydrating and just wonderful. Refreshing. Sweet. Yes. Very nice. My second is the blue agave and melon. Oh. It's a new one. Yeah. But I love the way it smells sour, but it has that sweet of the melon. Mm -hmm. I, I just love the textures that it brings. Inhale, exhale. Oh. It is a nice zen. Clean, light. Uh, it's a very nice fragrance. It's perfect for a bathroom or a bedroom. Iridescent Pearl. Because it's clean and pretty. And is it sweet? I can't remember. I don't think it's It's more sweet. of a clean, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Lemon Sorbet. Because why not? Mix that with watermelon tangerine. And a shot of vodka. And you got a mess. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. It, lemon sorbet is good. It is tart right back there on yeah, your jaw. it is. And then pineapple pucker. <clears throat> it's just another fruity. I remember I put it in. Wasn't it that one? I don't know. Uh, oh, what do you... And the house smelled really cold. Oh, like really? Cool. Like, like a cool drink. Yeah, it smelled... Hmm. Cold. It was weird. Anywho. Pineapple that's... pucker just reminds me of her doing the pineapple upside down yeah. and getting all the juices. It was good. We need top. to get another pineapple. Yeah. And that water, another watermelon. We had a yeah. watermelon. It was really Did good. Did you have any watermelon left over? It's Is there still watermelon? Oh, okay. Remember you asked me that? Yeah, but I didn't know if you came home and ate some. Oh, no, no, no. no. I had a bowl of cereal. Okay. Next is what? You know, do laundry? Sure. So laundry love, we don't ever buy just whiffs or just the laundry liquid. We buy laundry love all the time mm -hmm. and we have so much laundry because we do use our host credits and rewards and what have you. And it's in my club. I have whiffs in my club. Oh, you do have whiffs in your club? Oh, I didn't know that. We're going to have to look at it. Oh, I didn't know that. I got to fix my club too. Yeah, we better do I've that got, soon. Yeah, I've got stuff in there that I don't need. Anyways, so... Laundry Love, which is the whiffs, the laundry liquid, and the dryer discs, which I could do without the dryer discs, but it's okay. I like them. My favorites are Lavender Cotton, number one, because it Why just not? is. It's, it's fabulous. It's very nice and it's clean. It's so fantastic. And then Windowsill Breeze is the second one. Now, I have to tell you... We had our beach towels in a bag mm -hmm. in a closet. For a year? For a year. I went to the lake yesterday, and I kid you not, my towel smelled amazing. So, if Could you tell you, what it was? I couldn't tell. It was really clean. It smelled good. Probably lavender cotton. It was so yummy. That's so funny. But if somebody ever says... $50 for your laundry love? That's really kind of expensive. No, it's not. Because your laundry will smell nice. There's no dyes. And it's clean. Chemicals. My towel was clean. My towel was not dirty. It didn't have any kind of bad odor. It literally smelled clean. And it was literally in this bag, in the closet, since last summer so it may not be a whole 12 months but it was probably august september when we last paddle boarded probably september when we last paddle boarded home yeah i don't think we paddle boarded in october so yes but our laundry liquid is very very concentrated it takes four <clears throat> pumps which <clears throat> is less than the equivalent of the tide cup if you know the cup for a tide halfway to the one and you don't even have to use four pumps. No, I use about for... two pumps when I'm doing laundry most of the time. When it's unless... my work clothes, I... Your work clothes is different. But like regular, like what I wear around the house mm -hmm. or 
when I do sheets to towels, I usually do four. Yeah. Towels, towels I do four pumps because they're heavier. Not because they're dirtier, but they're heavier. Mm. So, and then of course your jeans, I do a little bit more. So my two favorites are lavender cotton and pink cotton. Oh. Because they smell different, but they're similar. I love the nice. clean smell. I love the clean. I love the clean. I will tell you, Quiver was oh. a favorite. And we do have one uh, one tub of whiffs right now yeah. of Quiver. Mm -hmm. And that one, I remember what a favorite that one was for many people. Wasn't Shimmer? Shimmer was another was one. Was it for and we the have... laundry? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> but Quiver was... It was it. That was it. All right, what do you want to do next? next? Uh, let's do car bars. Car bars. I did three of them. Yours at the top. I did two. I did pineapple pucker because we've had that in the Jeep and it smelled amazing. And I did bonfire beach. And the reason I did bonfire beach was there's two reasons. Kind of a funny story. I went to see a friend this weekend and I was in the Jeep, of course. And the Jeep is naked right now, so no top. It's not enclosed at all. And I, we went to have lunch and she rode with me and she said, it smells really good in here. She's like, what do you have? And I'm like, I'm not quite sure what it is. I don't have my glasses on and I forget I that hung it. the ribbon has the name of the fragrance. And so I'm telling her, I think it's this or that. And she goes, Bonfire Beach? And I go, oh, maybe. <laughs> I'm like, how did you know that? And she goes, it's on the ribbon. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't see and I forget. And we have room sprays for the fragrances also. So I spray the carpet and the seats as well. Yeah. Just for added fragrance. They'll have holes in them, but that's okay. So dramatic. Did you say your two? Yes. My turn? Yes. Okay, so of course, watermelon tangerine. For the car bar? Have... Yeah. You have it in the Honda right it's now, right? It's in the Honda yeah. with the, it's a scent circle, but potato, potato. Potato, potato. And by the sea. Because it is nice. And it's a, a powerhouse. That one is... Watermelon Waves. There's no Watermelon Waves. Yeah, huh? Comes in a car bar. In a car bar? Not Watermelon Tangerine? Correct. Or... <laughs> Didn't that... Isn't this the same You did that before. Uh, That's why I'm like... Vanilla what? Waves. Okay, Vanilla Waves. Yeah, huh? Didn't you know? <laughs> I made it up. Okay. She gets really sassy with me, and uh, I'm like, oh gosh, here we vanilla go. Vanilla Waves... And I didn't know what came in it. Did I know that? I'm, you know me. I've always got to look. I got to confirm. She needs to make sure that I'm right. Not or wrong. telling a story. I'm not sure I didn't see it. Car bars. Please hold. Meanwhile, we'll go to the soak. So our Scentsy soak comes in a two-pound bag, right? And is it in there? I'm not. I'm not there yet. I'm just listening to you talk about. I'm wrong. If watermelon waves did come in a car bar, it'd be really good. Not watermelon waves. You keep on making Vanilla up waves. stories. Watermelon waves was a fragrance at one time. Watermelon waves. No, vanilla waves is a fragrance. Yes. Watermelon tangerine. Yes, but I believe watermelon waves was a fragrance at one time. Okay. Anywho, Scentsy Soak has sunflower oil <laughs> and aloe on. and pink Himalayan salt. All things fantastic. Epsom salts. Makes you feel yummy. Our favorite fragrance is all of them. All of them. <laughs> we couldn't pick one. They're all fantastic. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Think of bath bombs minus the spinny, taking off the plastic, all the things. The pain in the mm -hmm, yes. taking off the plastic. Making a mess. So you just get a scoop, scoop it into your bath, and enjoy. Or two or three scoops. Mm -hmm. Just depends on the mood. Yep. I What's know next? that oh. there is a fragrance of soak that has something in it and people were kind of freaking out because it doesn't break down. And I can't remember what it was. We'll, we'll come report back to back. that. Yeah. What's next? Scrub. What's the matter? I had a pen. I was going to mark that we Here. were done. Scrub, go ahead. Scrub watermelon tangerine and it is in my club and it was on back order when i got that's my the same one i picked box you did watermelon tangerine yeah it's the best so we had luna in the shower 
that we just finished up and I put watermelon tangerine in there and I have to say the first thing that I noticed about the watermelon tangerine was it's not separated mm -hmm. it's mixed perfectly you don't have to stir it remember I talked about this it has fragrance so good. And of course, it just feels amazing. Luna feels amazing. Luna has a it little tiny bit of fragrance. Not super strong. No. Mahalo Coconut had no flavor. No fragrance. I'm no, sorry. She likes to munch on it. Like yeah. She, she scrubs her teeth with it. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't. No, she doesn't. Watermelon Tangerine. It's it's nice. Yep. It's really nice. What is next? Whatever you tell me. Uh, body wash? Sure. You want me to go or are you going? You go first. Body wash. My favorite is aloe water and cucumber and water melon tangerine. And I only had one. Jammy time. I love me some jammy time. She does love her some jammy time. I do. Our body wash is pretty fantastic. We have a couple different fragrances in there like Candy Crave for kids. Mm-hmm. So that's fun. Go ahead. You pick. Counter cleaner? Sure. So I had a couple under the counter cleaner. I have Johnny Appleseed, Squeeze the Day, and Blue Grotto. So that's a few, not a couple. There's three. There, the Johnny Appleseed is strong apple. Mm -hmm. I like it in certain fragrances. I love it in a wax, but it's not like that. I have to have it all the time. Right. That appealing apple that we have is that's nice. really nice. And it's so, close. Yeah, it's very. Close. But uh, squeeze the day. It's just that fresh, clean lemon. Yeah, I, I just of, like that. Lots of lemon. And then Blue Grotto is that sweet, <sighs> strong fragrance. It's fantastic. Yeah. So those are my three for counter. My counter is lemon verbena, which is lemon. It smells really good, and Johnny Appleseed as well. Do you have the same for your all-purpose cleaner concentrate as you do for your bathroom cleaner, or are they different? Mine are the same. That's why I'm asking. No, mine are completely different. Totally different. Okay. Yeah. So all-purpose cleaner concentrate and bathroom cleaner for me were the same exact two. And so I'm just going to share with you guys so you don't have to hear me say it again and again. Blue Grotto and Squeeze the Day. I am really funny about cleaning the bathroom and having super sweet fragrance in the toilet. I don't it's know weird. why. That's not, yeah, it's know. it's kind of weird to me. Mm -hmm. But those two just work really nice. And I think what I love about the bathroom cleaner is just how it comes out in a foam. Yeah. And you just leave it there for just a few minutes and then just clean it. And it's great. Our bathroom looks brand new. Mm -hmm. Our bowl looks brand new. It, it, it really kind of does. It's a year and a half old. Yeah, but still, some people have mm -hmm. really yucky. Yeah, no, it does a really good job. It cleans with citrus acid. I love it. And I clean the tub with it, yep. and I clean the counters with it. Mm -hmm. I'll clean the sinks with the bathroom cleaner. I Like, the whole bathroom, I do. I will There's no wipe. chemical fragrance. Like, it's not punching you in the face, and your eyes aren't watering, and your kids could help clean. Right. Teach them to clean now. Yes. I do use Clorox wipes to mm -hmm. like wipe the rim. I mean, I use it in some areas, but for the most you part. You know, high traffic areas, they'll get Clorox wipes because yeah. we don't want germs. Yeah. Anyways. What we do. All right. Your uh, two. So my all-purpose cleaner and bathroom cleaner. All-purpose cleaner is Squeeze the Day and Blue Grotto. Yes. So matched hers. My bathroom cleaner was aloe water and then Fiesta Lime. Oh, wow. Aloe water because it's that clean, sweet. Yeah. And then Fiesta Lime because lime is a citrus and yeah. I, I think it smells really nice. I'll be back. He's at the door. He is a hot mess. He's just very bossy. He actually relaxed most of the day and we didn't get to walk until I think it was about 6 30 tonight when we finally got to walk because it was so hot he doesn't like to walk when it's too hot but he demands his walk so here comes Mr. Slippers anytime you hear that dragging sound in the background that's him or that clickety clackety really he is hot mm -hmm. it's hot out there yeah all Sorry right about that folks pods yeah you go so my favorite pods, which our pods are used for our 
on the go fragrance delivery system since you go and the mini fan diffuser um or the wall fan diffuser yes my favorite pods are the pink cotton and just breathe pink cotton smells like laundry just breathe has that eucalyptus wait mm -hmm. i feel like you're looking back at me well because you're way I back love there eucalyptus. my neck's gonna have a kink Good in it turn. <laughs> <laughs> Now I got whiplash. I love eucalyptus. I I really do like it. My two favorites, jammy thyme and lavender cotton. No surprise there. I just right. love that clean, fresh mm -hmm. fragrance. One's punchy, the other one's a little bit milder. Yeah. You wanna do your favorite warmer? Sure. Or warmers. So I'm gonna tell a story about my favorite warmers. <laughs> When fire, uh, Chasing Fireflies came out, <laughs> she, she I went, lost my mind. She went cuckoo. I seriously, and then it came out in a mini. I seriously lost my mind. So every friend of mine that had a fifth wheel or a trailer, they were going to get a Chasing Fireflies mini warmer because that was appropriate. And I don't know how many people got the full size warmer because I <laughs> just love that warmer. It is. She gifted it. I did. I'm not kidding. I thought everybody in the world had to have Chasing Fireflies. I think it is a magnificent warmer. It is. I don't is know what one. it is about it, but I love it. So that has been one of my all-time favorites. Now, I will say there are other favorites that we have. Oh, yeah. It's just that one has the long-lasting story. You can remember just how when it came it out. Was, uh, wasn't it a warmer of the month or something? I don't know. I just know because that I when it came out, bonkers. everybody must have one. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other one, of course, is Winnie the Pooh Honey Pot. I just love that warmer. I think it's darling. It's, it's very cute. It's in the closet. It is not displayed, but it is cute. And so is my Tinkerbell one. They're in the closet. Yeah. Just It's one of those things. I'm, I am I don't want to use it. I just want to keep it forever. So here we are. It's not hoarding. She's collecting. <laughs> My favorite warmers. Oh, I forgot this one too. Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. No, no, no. Please. My last favorite. I was thinking I had written Chasing Fireflies twice, but I didn't. Was the Angel Wings. Yes. I will tell you that's another one that gets gifted a lot. Anytime somebody has a death and instead of sending flowers, we send the Angel Wings warmer. And a few bars. We always tell people you can have somebody who's crafty with their cricket unlike us we have a cricket so that we can say that we have a so cricket. if you have any ideas on how to use one please <laughs> and you want to take the time to train share us your knowledge please do because we have one and it just sits in the closet yes but I, I always tell people you can cut a decal out and put the date of birth and end of life on the yes. back or in memory of or something but I just think that warmer is so perfect for mm -hmm. celebrating somebody's life that has moved on. Mm -hmm. My favorite warmers are the Happy Herb Herbitat. Herbitat. I don't know why it's called that. Anyway, it's the one that's the cream with the crackle paint, but the lavender pressed in it. Mm -hmm. We have one somewhere. We have like three. They're beautiful. They're Two in, the in guest a guest room. room. Yep. <laughs> One the guest room. somewhere else. So I love that because I love the idea of how it was made with the fresh lavender pressed in and mm -hmm. then hand painted. And then the salt lamp warmer, mm -hmm. which is right there. That warmer is so beautiful and it brings such a energy that is just really nice. I'm going to rip the pen out of her arms. That's really nice. Sorry about that. It's she doesn't fidget. realize that it's clicking it's in your ears. <laughs> it's my fidget toy. <laughs> I don't know why you're fidgeting. I don't know either. Okay. Mist or hand cream? Let's go mist. Go for it. So this one, it's a kind of hilarious, but my favorite is the cozy cardigan. I don't know what it In is. The mist? Yes. Okay. That one and pineapple coconut vanilla. Vanilla. Are my two so pineapple coconut vanilla is that go to in body? I don't know what it is about that, but it is the one fragrance that I know that I will love in any body product for the most part. I have it in hand cream, I have mm -hmm. it in body, I have or body cream, hand cream, mm -hmm. fragrance mist, but cozy cardigan 
it just is one of those things. It sounds like it should be only used in winter, but we have it now. So here we are with it. Mm -hmm. So those are my two faves. Body mist. Now and Zen. Mm. It's clean. It's fresh. It's calming. And watermelon tangerine. Because why not? <laughs> why not? Why not just swim in it? Hand cream. Hand cream. Pink cotton. And, of course, the pineapple coconut granola. Our hand cream comes in a little squeezy tube, and it has sunflower oil and aloe in it. It's very delightful. It does not leave your hands sticky like some hand creams do. It absorbs. Your skin absorbs it very nicely. Mm -hmm. And you don't feel like you got to wipe your hands off afterwards. My hand cream favorites are Cozy Cardigan and Hibiscus Pineapple. That's so funny. Mm-hmm. I love it. Cozy Cardigan is the pretty girly, like, mm -hmm. nice smell, clean. Mm -hmm. Hibiscus Pineapple is that little bit of citrus, but it's like, it's a tropical. I would call it a tropical. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What are your two favorite products that oh. Scentsy offers? Laundry and wax. That is so funny. I love the wax. I love that I can change how an area smells within like five minutes yeah i love that and i love that the laundry is so simple but packs such a punch like such a little amount of product mm -hmm. can clean an entire load of disgusting clothes our clothes are never disgusting mine, even her work clothes are not mine disgusting. can be pretty gross no any she lies with a little bit of product it can <clears> go a long <throat> way and there's no chemicals in the dyes and I hate that thick blue liquid. It just makes no <laughs> sense to do white load of laundry with blue liquid. Zero sense. Anywho, if you use it, I don't judge. What did you say the other, oh, what was that joke that you told me? What smells like red paint, but it's blue? Yeah. What smells like red paint, but it's blue? What Anybody know? You said you didn't know. Right? I didn't know. I, I sat there and I kind of rocked my brain for a second. And I was trying to figure that out, but I don't know. The answer was blue paint. <laughs> she goes, what does red paint smell like? And I said, blue paint. <laughs> it's so funny. dumb. I, it is dumb. <laughs> but it's true. I heard on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> she's, yeah. TikToker. She's, she's, yeah. Remember the one that sleepwalks? Yeah. She told her husband that one, <laughs> and he walked away. <laughs> That's so, awesome. So those are our favorites. My two favorite products. Oh. She was going to cut me off. She just got. You don't have a turn. She just, she just got on with her little funny joke. You don't have a turn. My two favorites, all-purpose cleaner concentrate. I cannot tell you all how much I love that stuff. I seriously... I From probably use that steel to the walls every single day. I'm not kidding. I'm looking at the at the bottle of it. It's talking to her right now, like Spring it's me calling my name. I'm not kidding. That and one of those yellow car wash towels. Yeah. We I use those car clean wash towels. stuff all day long with it. I yeah. will clean the bathroom with it. Baseboards. I will clear, yep. Walls, the doors, the yep. the what's that thing called around the door? The door frame. The door frame. I am cleaning. Our kitchen cabinets, we did the facings of those, and they weren't they weren't awful, but it sure did a nice job. <laughs> sure did a nice. She acted like I wasn't gonna see that. Come on, I'm right here. Yeah, all purpose cleaner concentrate is the bomb. And the bottle goes a long way because it's concentrate, so it's like three parts water, one part. I don't know. I don't care. What I do know is that <laughs> bottle that I have is half full and I use that thing every day. I'm not kidding. She'll go to work and I'll grab the bottle and I'm shaking it and I'm walking around spraying things and wiping things and just kind of doing why whatever. why streaks everywhere when I get home. She forgets where Probably. she sprayed and, right. and wipe it. And it just hangs out there. But I will tell you, stainless steel, oh, it's amazing on yep. stainless steel. Amazing. Go with the grain. Go with the grain. My other favorite is Laundry Love. Again, I love our laundry. 
I love all of our products. I have to tell you, I don't think that there's a product that I will say, meh. I can't think of one, at least. And as you can tell, um, we have... I kind of can, but I Okay, what is it? it? The hand soap. Hand soap? Okay, yeah. that's okay. We didn't even I talk like, about the dish soap. I like foam hand soap. Yeah. I really... There's something about it coming out foamy. And you can make that foamy. I mean, you can. Probably. But... I don't know. That's just one it's of my. It's just pump. one of my quirks. It's not. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just it doesn't come out the way that I prefer my soap to come out. Yeah. It's just like if your toilet paper roll goes under when you like it going over. It's a problem. The wow. dish soap. Mm. I think Johnny Appleseed was nice. I'm trying to remember which one we used. There was one. Not long ago. And it smelled amazing? Yes. What was it? Was it Johnny Appleseed? No, I don't think so. Was I don't remember. Lemon? I don't remember. But. They've improved the dish soap. The dish soap. It's not. I'm not going to say it's one of my favorites. But I like it. It's mm -hmm. not something that I would disregard. But I just. The bubbliness? I don't know if it's that. I'm not quite sure. I'm just... We wash a lot we of do. flipping dishes. Like, a lot. So, it's... It's kind of funny. I don't know. Uh, our cleaning products, I think that we have done a great job with cleaning products. Mm -hmm. I would have never guessed cleaning products would have been, like, the go-to. <laughs> Laundry Love... I'm not kidding. That yeah. all-purpose cleaner concentrate, the bathroom cleaner. I remember when the bathroom cleaner came out. You and I were in San Francisco when that actually came out. <clears throat> we actually did, we did a, a Facebook Live demo in a, in a San Francisco hotel bathroom. Hotel bathroom in, in our room. It was our hotel yeah, room. Yeah, it yeah. wasn't like the public bathroom. But I'm not opposed to it. So I need right. a scrubbing. But we did it. It was hilarious. Because I'm in fun. the shower spray and I got my clothes on in the shower yeah. talking away. Yeah, it was a good one. Yeah. So that's a, that's a wrap on that. Those are our favorites. What are your favorites? Yeah, share with us. We yes. are excited to hear what your favorites are. And if any of the things that we said were a favorite that you are not a favorite of, you got to tell us why. We yeah. always love to hear the opposing comments just because... It just goes to show that we all have different likes and dislikes, mm -hmm. and that's okay. what makes it fun. Yeah, yeah. So I like, do I'm love not... our wax, but those other two products. The wax just... is just—I love it. It's I iconic. Everything. It is about iconic. It. For I us. love that it's brought in by a train. Mm -hmm. The process of it. I love it. Yeah. I love that it was hand poured for so long. It's... Yeah. Those are my. Those are, those are my favorites. Those are her favorites. Yeah. So with that, we thank you for joining us. If you like what you saw, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and ring the bell. And we'll be coming back at you live soon. Mm -hmm. Have a great night, everybody. God bless. Good night.